A rough-skinned newt in a defensive posture called... Uh, Unken Reflex. Never mind that these newts produce a toxin 10,000 times deadlier than cyanide. Okay, is that defensive or <laughs> is that, um... Is that presenting? Mmm, <laughs> let me make your heart race. Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to MK. Thanks for stopping by. Did you get the money yet? You didn't? <laughs> That's okay, we'll just, we'll just get Steve to cut off another of your toes. In the meanwhile, let's contrast your punishment with something a bit adorable in r slash educational. The perfect method for teaching people with the focus of a goldfish. Which, I mean, scientifically, is actually pretty normal, considering goldfishes actually don't have a three-second memory. They're actually quite smart and intelligent, but let's just ignore that for the sake of the joke. Cute things, learning stuff, yay! At a mere 13 centimeters in length, the critically endangered pink Fairy armadillo, oh I love the name, is the smallest of the armadillo species. In fact, they're so endangered that not much is known about them. Oh my god, it's like a pig with battle armor. A very, very tiny pig with battle armor. Storm the castle, boys, let's get that bacon. The I.I. -I is an endangered lemur, being killed on sight due to superstition. The I.I. -I is the world's largest nocturnal primate. It fills the ecological niche of a woodpecker using its unique elongated middle finger to tap on trees to detect food within. Their ears allow them to echolocate. Okay, all right, no, yes, it's cute. I understand that. Okay, but imagine this thing being in like the corner of your ceiling late at night when you wake up. Tell me, please, how the hell would you not freak the hell out and try and kill it? This thing looks like a vampire bat, but with fingers. <laughs> the bumblebee bat, or kitty hognose bat, is the world's smallest mammal. They only travel one kilometer from the caves throughout their lives. <gasps> pocket bat. A bat for your pocket. Oh my god, you could wrap him around your pencil at school. I want one. How do I obtain a legal license to have it? The rare Kermode. Kermode? Kermode. Uh, or spirit bears. Are blonde bears found only on the coast of BC. They're actually black bears with a rare recessive gene. So, they're albino. Just just say they're albino bears. God damn, why do I have to call them such weird names? Spirit bears. Bears too fancy of a word, they're just, they're albinos. <laughs> They're joker bears that fell into a vat of acid. Wallace's giant bee has a wingspan of 2.5 inches and large jaws, almost like those of a stag beetle, which it uses to scoop up tree resin to line its nests. Oh, 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 that is nightmare. Excuse me, bee, what the hell are you doing on this subreddit? You are not all educational. You're educational, but more like educational. There needs to be a subreddit like that. You belong there, B. Get out of here. Go on, out the door. No, not the window. The door. Like, I've opened the door wide open. How can you not get through? Male orchid bees perfume the forest with their bottoms, creating their own unique flowery scent to lure in possible mates. Damn, boy, you were one colorful bee. It's definitely an appealing look until you reread the sentence and realize that it's possible that they attract mates by farting. I mean, the farts smell nice, but it's, it's still farting. That and the fact that they use their butts to attract each other, which I guess is no different to humans. The bush tit. <laughs> is, that, is that legit? It's actually an animal. All right, all right, I'm, I'm older than 10. The bush tit. <laughs> I either think of a bush with a nipple on the top or just a very hairy boob. <laughs> Okay, the bush tit is a tiny social bird that rolls in a flock that's 10 to 40 members deep. It's the only member of its family to be found in the Americas. Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 I, I, I can see why it's called a bush tit. It's... Oh god, this is worse than when I found out that the words boobies are a name of an actual bird. The rusty spotted cat, one of the smallest cat species in the world, found in India and Sri Lanka. It grows to only 35 to 48 centimeters, 14 to 19 inches in length, with a 15 to 30 centimeter, 5.9 to 11.8 inches tail, and weighs only 0 0.9 to 1.6, Jesus, all these measurements, 2.0 to 3.5 pounds. The bushy tail is about half the length of the body. <gasps> oh, hello! <laughs> Hello there! No! No, the eyes! That's too good! No! How can you give us a photo of the kitty without the bushy tail that you've been going on about for like two whole sentences in that post, dude? Come on, you're just such a tease. Cute kitty. But this black-footed cat is the deadliest cat in the world. It catches more prey in one night than a leopard does in six months. Plot twist! It's a domestic house cat! Boom! <clears throat> that was my Inception horn. 
Thank you. Yes, I'm very talented. Miniature cattle are found in various parts of the world. Some, such as the Dexter of Ireland and the Vichur of Kerala, India, are traditional breeds. Others have been recently created by selective breeding. The Australian lowline is the unexpected result of a scientific experiment. A scientific experiment gone right, I say. <laughs> oh, look at you floofs. You are indeed the floofiest of floofy floofs to floofnins. There you floof. Look how fluffy you are, you fl- I think the fluffiness is giving my fluff a brain fluff and tumor fluff. Dagus, native to the Andes, are extremely social rodents and like to stay near each other at all times. To save energy and keep warm in cooler temperatures, they huddle tightly together. There is no hierarchy involved in this behavior. Any member of the group can instigate the huddle. Oh, <laughs> bro, I need body heat. Sure, I got you, bro. Sure, bro, let me join in, bro. Oh, bro, you guys doing a huddle, bro? Dumbo octopuses are the deepest dwelling of all octopuses. They can live in depths of up to 13,100 feet and potentially even deeper. Despite living in such extreme depths, Dumbo octopuses and their habitat are polluted by throwaway plastics. You know, those things wouldn't actually be ears, I'm pretty sure, so it wouldn't make sense to call him a Dumbo octopus. Though I feel it's a bit ridiculous of me anyway to be criticizing the anatomy design of an octopus when things like jellyfish exist. Seriously, they don't even have brains. How do they function? Apple snail lays brightly colored pink and poisonous eggs. Oh, that's, that's nice. The worst part of that kind of information is that you know, you just know the only way they could be determining that is if someone tried it. Though, I mean, I don't blame them. Just look at those things. They look like some sort of sherbet treats. The black-footed ferret, I'm not going to attempt the scientific name, was declared extinct in 1979 due to decline in prairie dog populations and the sylvatic plague. However, a remnant population was found on a farm in Wyoming. All wild populations today are descended from 18 individuals captured and bred in captivity. Are you telling me we nearly had a world where these guys didn't exist? My god, I am glad we're in this reality. Suck it, alternate universe! Shelter cats with FIV, feline immunodeficiency virus, have long been euthanized due to widespread misinformation about the virus. In reality, FIV positive cats can coexist alongside FIV negative cats and generally live long, happy lives. Oh my god, one of the most deadliest predators on the planet! Look how just evil and violent and aggressive it is! Flat-headed cat, a semi-aquatic carnivore found in Borneo, Sumatra, and Malaysia. They have backward-facing teeth that help it catch and hold fish and frogs. Sadly, 90% of its habitat has been converted to plantations, making it an endangered wild cat. Oh, dude, it is just so fascinating seeing wild cats that aren't, you know, leopards and tigers. You just expect anything smaller than that to be domestic. I'm sure whoever first discovered this kind of cat being semi-aquatic was just like, what the frick bullshit? Nah, that's not a cat. That can't be a cat. The red fox is vulpus vulpus. Okay, that's easy to learn. I can say that one. <laughs> is the largest of the true foxes and is easily one of the most well-known members of the canid family. Its sheer adaptability in a wide variety of habitats, including suburban and urban areas, has made it the most wildly distributed wildland animal. So basically foxes are playing Minecraft in our real world reality. Giraffes only need five to 30 minutes of sleep a day. They nap only a minute or two at a time. How do, what is, how, why, what? No, you know what? That explains why they look so damn dopey from the face like that. Oh, who am I kidding? You're still adorable, buddy. I, I still love you. But seriously, if you could give me your ability to only need to sleep for five to 30 minutes a day, my God, the amount of time you are saving. That could be an extra six hours of your day you could be procrastinating. I mean, just think of the opportunities. Kalugos are one of the closest living relatives to primates. They're able to glide over 200 feet in one swoop. Yo, dude, why couldn't we evolve from them? I want to be able to glide everywhere. Stairs are exhausting, dude. I just want to, I just want to flap. <laughs> Once bred to hunt wild boar, Great Danes are known to be loyal and gentle family dogs, weighing anywhere from 120 to 220 pounds, male, and surpassing six feet when standing on hind legs, these gentle giants are the world's largest lap dogs. Okay, that's cute, but ew, don't let your dog lick your face. That is, you get it, nah, I've seen the photos of infections people get from letting the dogs do that. That's, that's not a good choice. Try to cross purse from use a unicorn glittery blood. I, I love that name. Okay, I'm just, can we just admire this name for a second? Okay, moving on. The Kia is the world's only alpine parrot. It is omnivorous, mainly roots, leaves, berries, nectar, and insects. In 1986, it received full protection under the Wildlife Act. 
And thank God it did. Damn, boy, you are so attractive. I mean, I've always loved the idea of having a pet cockatoo one day, but okay, you, <laughs> you, are, you are slowly going to possibly take over that opportune spot. I probably can't for legal reasons, but I'll, I'll just get a normal parrot and just paint it. It'll be fine. A little, little spray paint never hurt no bird. <laughs> Axolotls are one of the only salamanders to never exit the larvae stage. This gives them their impressive gills and awesome regenerative powers. <sighs> you know God's given up on ideas when he's literally copying the creatures from Minecraft. Like, just try harder, man. Cloud leopards are one of the most talented climbers among the wild cats. Captive clouded leopards have been observed to climb down vertical tree trunks head first and hang on to branches with their hind paws bent around the branchings of tree limbs. We literally had the chance to call them monkey cats and we just blew it. We just... We wasted an opportunity. No, I'm sick of this. I'm starting a petition. We're calling them monkey cats. No more clouded leopards. They're not They're not on clouds, okay? They're on trees. They're hanging on them with their feet too. They're, they're monkeys. They're monkey cats. The banded linseng is native to Malaysia and Indonesia. They are most closely related to kivets and pinturongs. I have... Why are all these words so... I don't know these words, okay? What, how do you pronounce half this stuff? Okay, at this point, I think someone's just been messing around with spore in real life. This... <laughs> Is that like a, a lemur's tail with a cat's body and a ferret's head and neck? I, it's like the platypus all over again. Mountain lion cubs are protected by the mother until they are big enough to roam and practice hunting skills. Mother mountain lions take care of their young until they are about a year old. Oh, dude, give me those blue eyes. Holy smokes. They, they're freaking hell. They're like sapphires. The, oh God, the uh, Akita Inu? I, please tell me that was right. Is a dog breed that originated from the rural and mountainous areas of Japan. This breed of dog once served samurais and even helped fighting in battles. They are also known for their loyalty to their owners, as shown in Hachiko, a dog who waited nine years for his owner. Ah, <gasps> Doge. Hello, Dosh. You're a very fluffy Dosh. You cute Dosh. I love, love Dosh. What? They just look so epic. Honestly, they're like the most epic-looking dogs I've ever seen. Baby octopus inside their eggs on the coast of England. The female lays about 100 at a time. Oh, hello there, little baby. Hmm. Suddenly craving sushi. Otters are thought to be able to smell underwater by exhaling bubbles and sniffing them back in. Okay, someone needs to tell me the science behind that because wouldn't he just be sniffing in the air that they just breathed out? I mean, even if they're only sniffing themselves, that, that's still an impressive feat. We don't see a lot of baby pigeons because they nest in very secluded caves and hard to get to places and have a long nesting period. When they leave the nest, they are very hard to distinguish from adult pigeons and they're butt ugly. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, oh, I thought the eye was just like bulging out unnaturally, but no, that that's just this natural look. Oh my god, that, <laughs> it looks like it's like a cactus. It's a cactus bird. <laughs> I definitely see why pigeons keep them secluded and well kept away, because they're just they're embarrassing to look at. I'd be very embarrassed if my child looked like this. Piglets learn knows their mother's voice, nice English, and the mother can sing to their young whilst nursing. <laughs> I know you're my mommy because you make my ears bleed. Ducks can fly as high as airplanes. A jet plane over Nevada once struck a mallard at an altitude of 21,000 feet. Normally, ducks fly between 200 and 4,000 feet in the air. Yeah, you see this duckling? You see him? Their parent is dead because of you. All because you wanted to fly a jet plane. But also, ah, cute ducky, yeah, sweet. Columbia Basin pygmy rabbits are the world's smallest and among the rarest. But are they adorable? Yes, they are. Oh my god. They've got colorful ears too! They're rainbow rabbits! Again, who who names these animals? Rainbow rabbit, monkey cat, people! Although it's unknown why exactly raccoons have masts, researchers think the dark fur helps reduce glare, improving their night vision. The dark patches may also help raccoons recognize each other's facial expressions. I'll be honest, raccoons are probably one of the only pests I wish were in Australia because they just, <laughs> they just seem so fun and kooky. Although harbor seal pups are born well developed, they depend on their mother for food for three to four weeks. Pictured is Bogey. He was found alone and too young to survive on his own. He was tube fed nutritious fish smoothies until he was released back into the wild. Oh, look at you! Hello! <laughs> You're so spotty. Why are you called Harbor Seal? You should be called Spotted Seal. You're so spotty, but why? A Dalmatian Seal! Come on, people! Salmon sharks have the ability to regulate their body temperature 14 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit above the ambient water temperature. Okay, no, that is not adorable. Look at those teeth. How? 
The eye, how is that adorable? Internet, wrong, please fix. Texel are a breed of sheep from the island of Texel in the Netherlands. Must have taken a lot of time to come up with that name. They are bred for meat, as it has a low fat percentage. This male, named Double Diamond, was just sold for 365,000 pounds. Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> All right, mate. Let's uh, maybe we should cover up that bit of yours, eh? Jesus, dude, is that is that really your your stuff, or is that a tumor? Look at his smug face too. He's just like, <laughs> I ain't being slaughtered because I'm necessary. The elephant shrew has recently been rediscovered by scientists in Djibouti after 50 years of obscurity. Don't at me with the names. I am trying. Yo, that is so weird. That it honestly looks like someone's photoshopped the head to be too large for its actual body. Honestly, it makes me wonder. If this image is actually uh, <clears throat> true because it's a shrew. Mephitis, Mephitis, okay, are we just doing Harry Potter wizard spells now? Striped skunk is solitary and primarily nocturnal, although some may be crepuscular. Crepuscular. In addition to the ecosystem, Mephitis, Mephitis serves as an important source of insect control for human populations. Oh, he's snuggling in the head. You're adorable. Okay, you belong here. Hognose snakes are a harmless colubrid that will play dead when threatened. Unfortunately, they are endangered in some regions, such as Ontario. Now, if any of you out there are afraid of snakes, I have a perfect solution for you. Give the snakes a top hat. Seriously, no, no, give them a top hat. They just, they look adorable. They look so dapper and adorable, you just can't be intimidated by them. A tiger's orange coat puts them at no disadvantage in camouflage as their prey, the ungulates, see them as green due to red-green color blindness. Ah, the question I've always pondered about but never was bothered to ask. Most saddleback toad species, nicknamed pumpkin toadlets, have only been discovered in the 21st century. They are barely over a centimeter long, and one species is even fluorescent under UV light. They are endemic to tiny sections of Brazil's cloud forest. I refuse to believe that's an actual toad. You clearly just dropped one of your lollies in the forest and you freaked out because you just, you, I don't know, dehydration or something. I feel like seeing only the front of this pen just doesn't do it justice though. Like, you need to grab an actual pen around you and just look at it and then compare the sizes. That thing is, that is a fingernail. After more than 100 years, wolverines are returning to Mount Rainier National Park. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> I feel this photo doesn't really encapsulate how necessary it is for them to be there when they're just tearing up the forest. Northern hairy-nosed wombat, critically endangered, approximately 200 left. They are the largest burrowing herbivore. A wombat can run as fast as 40 kilometers an hour over a short distance. Honestly, you think this thing can run 40 kilometers an hour? It's just, it's astonishing to believe it actually can. Nashville Zoo was the first zoo to successfully breed a monkey cat cub, Niran, using artificial insemination, a very important achievement to their conservation success. It's alive! Hey, Niran, do you think you should be called a monkey cat instead of clouded leopard? Yes! See, look, he agrees with me. I don't know why this isn't a thing already. Fidarity time. Today's work is by I'm Jake 1208. MK narrators when someone r slash or isn't cute. What? Thanks for the work, I'm Jake, and remember guys, if you'd like to see your future beautiful artworks in a future beautiful video, be sure to post it in the beautiful MK subreddit, because that's where we grab them. If you send them to our DMs, I'm not really gonna have the time to grab them myself, so just, just put them all there. It makes it easy to find them. All right, how's your toes doing? Okay, can you feel them? You shouldn't. We Kind of got a bit sidetracked and cut a few off there. Sorry about that. Anyway, look, if you could like this video, uh, that'll be lovely. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Click that notification bell. Otherwise, we'll go for the fingers. And with that said, my name's been Jack. You've been a lovely person to ramble at, as always. I look forward to seeing you again soon with the money. And I will guess I'll see you until then. Bye-bye.